Okay, so welcome back to another Portworks PX backup demo. We're going to be talking about Jenkins CI CD systems today. So I have a fresh setup here that I have for Jenkins, and it has one job that's just running a simple job that basically sleeps for a period of time and exits successfully. Um, and just used for this example. So you can see there's a build in progress. And so PX Backup um, allows you to run pre and post rules. And we're going to basically influence this job as we do those rules. And while PX Backup does the backup and snapshotting. So here you can see both of those rules, Jenkins Pre and Jenkins Post. We can look at the pre rule, which targets the app Jenkins pod selector and will stop this job. Uh, job one. What this does is basically say, run this command, which stops job one, before we take our volume snapshot. And the post rule will start the job again by running build job. And so this is a case where you might want to stop the job, make sure your snapshot's taken, and then start it again afterwards. This makes sure there's a kind of a clean, no IO happening. Um, but you may also do other things like, you know, freeze the file system and then things like that. But this just shows how you can interact with the application being application aware from PX backup. So here we have the Jenkins namespace where Jenkins is running the PVC service, persistent volume claim and deployment. We can back this up by selecting backup and giving our backup a name. In this case, we're going to call it Jenkins back 006. Select the backup's location, which is Amazon S3, and select our pre and post rules here in the UI. So now, after we select the pre and post rule, this makes sure that the backup uses both of those rules. After you're done with that, click Create. Now the backup will start. It will automatically start with the pre-rule, take the snapshot, and move on to the post. So pre stops the build. You can see it's aborted here. So this means the pre-rule ran, and then the uh, job was building again. So that means the post rule ran. And so it's important to note that the pre and post rules happen around the the capture of data. So uh, the the actual backup might still be sending data to S3 and things like that, but it makes sure that the, the consistency is around that data snapshot. So now our backup is done, and we see that we had build 15 running. And so uh, this backup should contain just build 14 because we took our pre rule, took a snapshot, and then we took we uploaded this backup. The post rule just started the job again for us. So let's go ahead and restore and verify that that's the, uh, in fact, the outcome that we see. So what we can do is just give it a name here, select the cluster. We're going to select the same cluster and we're going to select the same namespace. And we're just going to tell PX Backup to replace everything. So take everything that Jenkins is running and, and restore it with this version of the backup. Restore will start to reload the data from the PVC. And once it's done loading that data back into Kubernetes, it will spin up all the resources that it has for the deployment and service and everything else. So here you can see restore success. And now if we head over to the details, we can see everything is successfully restored, including the service and deployment. So now if we go back to our Jenkins instance, you can see here that it becomes ready with our most recent restore, and we'll log back in to our username and password. And once we do that, we should see the job two is currently not running because the backup was taken after it stopped the job. And so here we can see number 14. So remember that our live system was running job 15, so we restored it at, back to the uh, state that we expect, which is job 14. And we can just go ahead and interact with the system as it was and start our build again. So what we've es essentially done is take a backup of a live Jenkins system, making sure that we stop an appropriately named job that we may want to um, make sure is stopped. You could also use this to 
run a job that does some sort of other work for Jenkins before you take the backup as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.